today we will first of all we we'll talk about features and sources of constitution first of all features and we can categorize into three groups salient characteristic and exclusive this means most prominent related to enshrined values and this is unique these are the three different class that i think i discussed this no types you can note down one by one salient features first is <clears throat> written and codified document written and codified document second is unitary federal structure unitary federal structure then rule of law yes Yes, 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 yes. There was a question. Rule of laws. Then single constituent authority. Single constituent authority means what? Only one authority can amend the constitution. Argument. Next is independent judiciary. Then popular sovereignty. sovereignty with the people single citizenship right these are some of the most prominent when you say characteristic features which are enshrined values so we can write first of all blend of unionism and federalism then characteristic features substantive equality that is removal of inequalities secular character then practice of constitutionalism this also we have discussed i think this term limited government okay then bicameralism means upper and lower house two houses these are the characteristic features and then exclusive features we have blend of fusion and separation of powers hmm then practice of soft secularism 
that is religious tolerance. That is blend of Gandhism and Marxism. with a tilt towards Gandhism, that is overhauling of the society to silent revolution. Silent, not violent. There is no violence. Okay, these are the exclusive features. Now, we may also have features like, uh, since India is both union and federation, features on the basis of political design. One is unitary, the second is federal. First is single citizenship, then emergency provisions, that is power of parliament, parliament becomes the supreme authority, third, power of parliament to organize new states, it is only parliament which can do that. Then we have All India Services, these are unitary features, federal features are written and rigid constitution. Separation of powers. Independent judiciary. And one more we can write. Bicameral legislature. <laughs> Right? So that way, these are the prominent features which we can classify that way. Then we have the sources. Sources we can classify. One is structural, then functional. Functional is of two types. Amendments to the Constitution and judicial decisions. And here we have British Acts and Laws. and constitutions of other states. Most prominent is 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1935 मोर देन 200 हंड्रेड प्रोविजन वी हैव टेकन फ्रॉम हियर ओके एंड दिस वी कैन राइट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन The first is British constitutional system. Other states. First is British constitutional system. We have taken some features like parliamentary system. One is parliamentary system. Second is bicameralism. then rule of law single citizenship and provisions provision for writs writs you must have heard habeas corpus mandamus like that mm -hmm. these are some of the prominent things what we have taken from britain <clears throat> 